love you guys. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> We are, oh, geez Louise, we are, let's see if I can, oh, it's really hard to talk when you're at a crazy angle like that. Oh my goodness, we are in the XJ Jeepin' down in Hurricane Utah, and we just completed a very large obstacle. Good job. Okay, you guys, we just had pretty much the first casualty of this whole trip, you can see right there, uh, that Jeep Wrangler just went up those rocks and just tipped and landed right on its top. Check this out. So basically we went up there, he was almost up, and then kind of fell back down on the rock and then just tipped. Such a bummer. So this is why we do this, uh, these big trails and these really hard obstacles together, because uh, somebody gets in trouble and then we all come to the rescue, they're just about to flip it over and uh, we can get going. Yep, I like it. Perfect. Okay, slow, slow, because it's going to drop there. Okay. Do me a favor, somebody whip the strap. Coming over. Easy. It's going to slip. Get ready. There it goes. Nice and slow. Here we go. Well, they successfully got the Jeep upside right. Now they're gonna have to like slowly and painstakingly trailer or kind of tow that Jeep off the trail. Luckily, this was like the first obstacle of the day, so uh, they don't have much further to go. I just really hope that uh, Faith and I don't flip the XJ because we don't have a cage. I think that's something that I'm gonna invest in after watching that. All right, are you gonna flip next? I really hope not. I think we got this. <laughs> All right. Are you gonna stay? Out? I, I think you're gonna stay outside the Jeep, right? I'm staying outside the Jeep. <laughs> if one of us dies. Well, it, if I flip it, you have to get the footage because I missed this one. I missed it. I didn't expect some. some but also, flip. one of us has to stay alive for Sal. So yes, for Sal. Stay now. I gotta say, this XJ is probably the cheapest rig in this whole group. And we did that with some great spotters. We did it no problem. Yeah. I think it's pretty good. XJs are bomb. So far, GP has impressed me. I'm very impressed. There's a lot of obstacles that everybody else struggled with that the GP just went straight up. Yeah. Good job. No. <laughs> What'd you break? I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure of the exact name. I broke the U joint and then the actual yoke. Yoke bumped Uh oh. It. The back yoke is broken. Yeah. So, what does that mean? We got to do front wheel drive until tonight. Uh oh. Until I can find the part. Hey, that guys, we're stuck in front wheel drive and we still got a few things to uh, accomplish today. So, what's that? Is that what you broke? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. That looks important. Yeah, so this is the drive shaft. The drive shaft, okay. The real question is, can we finish the trail? I have no idea. All right. I've never done this before. So. Okay. Hot over there, being a beast. Goodness gracious. There we go. Todd, you're the man. Try. You're the man. Okay, so we made it to the off-road place, like the off-road shop. Luckily, it's like right at the end of the road. Uh, I'm gonna show you exactly what happened so you guys better understand uh, what broke. I'm not quite sure why, but what broke. So right here, we have our spare wheel, obviously, but we have our drive shaft right here. So the drive shaft, that's the front. This is the rear. So this is the rear U-bolt, U-joint uh, yoke. And then we have the U-joint here. As you can tell, the U-joint broke, but that broke, but that's not all. You can see that the yoke on this end broke as well, shattered it. 
Uh, so that's the part that we need. We need this part that connects to the pinion on the rear axle there. That's what we need. I think you just got very lucky. Super lucky, 80 bucks. And uh, we're using my other part that I had brought just in case. I had the feeling, so I ordered it last week. So we got the new U-joint here. Let's throw it all together. All right, you guys, we are back at the hotel. What a fun, fun first day out on the trails. I cannot wait for tomorrow. I really, really hope nothing breaks on the XJ tomorrow, although something probably will. And if that's the case, I hope it kind of uh, plays through like today did, where we were able to find a part and get it fixed. Uh, anyways, I will see you guys in the morning. All right, so we're at the trailhead at Sand Hollow State Park. We are getting ready. Everyone's airing out because we got some sand dunes to cover. Man, I am excited. We're doing a trail called The Maze today. Apparently, it's pretty iconic. Let's roll. stopped uh, to get some photos and look at this backdrop. I just wanna run straight out there and just keep running. You know what else is crazy about Utah? You've got these sand dunes right here, but then you've got the mountains right over there. It's just so crazy to me. Hey guys, I don't know if you can see this, but like my, my hand was shaking. I was so nervous to do this off score right here just because I don't have rear lockers. Uh, so if my front wheels popped off the ground, man, I was kind of screwed, but I was able to do it somehow. Oh, nice. Oh, no. We got everybody good? Really glad that wasn't you. Oh my gosh, dude. So Clayton just completed this obstacle and we were sitting in the Jeep and then we heard a big bang. And everyone so this, gasping. Yeah, so we were like, oh snap. So they're about to pull this guy out. Hopefully the Jeep is okay. It's got an exoskeleton on it, so it should be good. This is literally One terrifying. Jeep, two Jeep, three Jeep. That's all right, we'll have to be, that'll help us out. So, we did the exact same thing today that we did yesterday. So yesterday we bought the last yoke in Southern Utah, so today we gotta be uh, creative, come up with something. Two flip Jeeps, two pinion yokes broke, man. I cannot believe my luck. So we are back here at like the headquarters of the Jeep Jamboree area. So there's like Jeeps everywhere. We've been asking around like crazy, frantically trying to find another yoke because yesterday we really bought the only one that we could find. But luckily there's a truck shop in St. George and Todd, he was just calling people, calling people, calling people. And this truck shop has a yoke. So I'm gonna go buy that and some new U-bolts. So just giving you guys a quick little update.
Got a real live Boy Scout in the house. Uh, don't get too close. I'm not quite sure how to tie those up. Oh. But it well, made it work. They look professionally done. All right. What's that meme about like all white dads when they cinch something down? Like, That's this, not going anywhere. This thing's not going anywhere. Yep. The Cherokee is all tied down on the trailer. We are ready to go. We got the SRT right here. Uh, we need to go get some gas and some food. But what a fun trip. If you guys are into Jeeps, definitely Google up like the closest Jeep Jamboree to you and definitely go check it out. We met so many cool people. There were like 300 Jeeps there, like 700 people total. It was insane. So we met people from all over the West Coast. Uh, definitely go check out Jeep Jamborees. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm so glad that this uh, broke down, but it was an easy thing to fix. Twice. Like if it, if it was gonna break down, I'm really glad it was that. It was super easy to fix, it took me like 30 minutes. So thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely stay tuned, we are heading straight back to the shop right now. We have really, really fun projects in store and uh, lots of videos to come. So we will see you in the next videos. Peace. All right guys, that ending was a joke. We actually have some terrible news. The SRT is down, you guys. The fuel cell was punctured somehow. You can see it right there, completely leaking. The SRT is down. So, we are loading the XJ up onto Todd with Agility Customs trailer. And we're gonna have to come back for the SRT later. So, the tentative plan with the SRT is we've got the XJ on Todd's trailer. We're gonna come back for the SRT later today. Todd so graciously is gonna let us use this truck to come back and trailer the SRT up to the shop, but wow, what a bummer. Shout out to Agility Customs for saving the day once again. All right, after an hour and a half of driving, we made it to Agility Customs. Got all three Jeeps loaded up. We're gonna load them off, and then Clayton and I are taking Todd's truck down back to Fillmore to grab the SRT. Thank you Todd, Jeeves, and Nicholas for not saving us once, twice, but three times on this trip. Uh, we it would be in some trip for us. We would be in some big trouble if they weren't around. But uh, now we descent into our hour and a half trip back to the SRT. Alrighty. There she is. We made it to Fillmore and the poor thing is still here. All the gas is leaked out. So inevitably, we're gonna be putting the SRT on that trailer, and that trailer hooked up to this truck, and then make the two hour drive back to Park City, and it's already 6 p.m. I would say this is a pretty good way to end a uh, Jeep trip. What do you guys think? You know, this isn't even the worst part about this. Um, you know, driving down to pick up the SRT isn't all that bad. The bad part is the part that we have to order to replace the fuel tank doesn't come for two weeks, which means the SRT is not usable for two weeks, which means you have to rely on the XJ as a daily driver, which is also not ideal. So what are you gonna do? That is life. It's still dripping down there. Goodness gracious. All right, now to make the two hour drive to Park City. Definitely was not expecting the SRT up there. The XJ, yes. The SRT, no. Well, you guys, man, I feel like I look terrible, but we made it back to the shop. The SRT is parked outside. It's like 9-ish p.m. And we have a car to detail by tomorrow morning. And once again, the Ferrari now won't start. It's got a low battery, so we have to charge that now. It's been quite a day, um, quite the end of a trip, but makes you appreciate the good days that you have. And you know, sometimes life is very different sometimes, and you just gotta keep your head up and just push along, but it was a pretty interesting end to a fun Jeep trip. But thank you guys for hanging on so long, and we will see you in the next video.